What's up, internet? Current 1776 here, back with another video. Walking down to the pond, and uh, I seen this product sitting on Daniel's desk, and I swiped it. I said, I think that's pretty cool. Let's do a video on it. See what people think about it. I hadn't taken it out of the package yet. I think the concept's pretty cool. It's just right here. It's uh, called Quick Cord. It's a way for you to kind of keep your paracord in check. It does a few other things, but you know, sometimes paracord can be a pain in the butt, you know, uh, getting tangled up. There's all sorts of things on the market to help you kind of keep your, your paracord in check, keep it organized and tangle free. This thing right here is supposed to do the same thing and a few others. So let's check it out. Get over here to the boat. We'll have a look at it. Might do a little fishing later. Got it set up on the boat here. So what we got is this quick cord. Take it out of the package, see what we got. Give you a little bit of paracord there. Like a chem light, a snap light is what they call it right here. Six inch light stick. And then the quick cord container there. So let me give you all a little closer look. We'll go through how to set it up, see how it works. Made in USA, yeehaw. plug or something other on this side. See if we can get that thing out. Whoa. Alright. So we got the main body here. End cap. End cap. So what they say in the directions is you take your paracord Hook's already tangled. Look there, God almighty. Have mercy. See what I'm saying? So you take one end of your paracord and they say pass it all the way through to the other side of the container here. All right, pass it all the way through. I'm gonna pass it through the big hole of the end cap you got a large hole and a small hole. And take your, your light here. Pass it through the hole of your light. Like so. And then do a simple knot on the end here. Okay. And it says, put the cap back in. And then they got it cut out so that the chem light will fit in there. Good. Put that in there. Velcro it down. And then pull your excess through. All right. Now it says we load this by taking your fingers and naturally just setting it down in there. Little by little, however it wants to go so that it doesn't tangle up. All right, now that we're to the end, it says pass it through the large, large hole of this. Clamp it in and take your excess, put it in this keeper right here. All right, so it's got a cutter here, a keeper, all your paracords in there, and then it's got the uh, chem light here that I'll talk about here in a second, why there's a chem light on there. That's the quick cord system all packaged up. Not bad. 
I mean, I think that's pretty cool. I mean, a really neat way to, to keep your, your cordage in check and handy and uh, not tangled up and getting tangled up on other things or whatever. Got a cutter in there, so if you need some paracord, you just pull it out. Get what you need. Running into that cutter right there. See how well that works. That was easy. Boom. You're good. And then you can, of course, doctor that end up with a lighter. Push that back in a little bit. Bring it around. Put it into a little keeper right there. Chem light. Oh. What do I need that for? Well, you got a source of light if you need it, a source of signaling, and you can do what's pretty popular with using chem lights and paracord, what they call the buzzsaw. You take your uh, chem light, you pull out however much line you need, slide it into the keeper there, the small hole, crack your chem light, and you can do the old buzzsaw. So the buzzsaw is a great way to get somebody's attention, especially from the air. So, um, you know, it, it, it creates a very noticeable, you know, circular pattern of light that can be seen very, very far away and uh, it will get somebody's attention. So it's a great way for signaling, um, for help if you need. And also there's tons of uses for chem lights, right? So you've got one at your disposal if you need it. It also said is if it did get tangled up in there, if you snatch this real hard, if there's a tangle in there, um, it will pop that cap off and you can correct your tangle and put it back in. I kind of dig it. I mean, you've got a cutter, you've got a way to keep your, um, your cordage in check, accessible. Um, it's not necessarily weatherproof, but it will help to an extent, right? Um, light rain, stuff like that should help keep some water out of your cordage and uh, got a way to signal. What do you think? Let me know down in the comments what you think about the quick cord system in comparison to other uh, cordage systems that you use to keep your cords organized and untangled. We all know tangling your cords up can be a pain in the butt. As always, I appreciate you guys watching. Be sure to like and comment down below. Let me know what you think about this. And uh, I'll see you next week with another product test video. Yeehaw.